guys, my name is Benita Okore. Welcome to the Hotspot Show, where we give you the best of entertainment. Like you know, Free Thought Media is a place where we give you all of African culture because it's our aim for us to promote African culture and its heritage. So we are at the National Park Service today. So we're going to be showing you a whole lot of things that you need to see pertaining African culture. So let's meet the woman who knows more about this. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Abdul Salam Anifat. So you are welcome to National Park. In Nigeria, we have seven national parks. And this is the only national park in the southwest. That is Odoyo National Park. Then we have Kanji Lake National Park in Niger State. Then we have Gashaka Gunti National Park in Adamawa. We have Kamuku National Park in Kaduna. Then we have Cross River National Park in Cross River. We have Okomu National Park in Edo. Then we have Chad Basin National Park. Chad Basin in Boronu. So all those national parks, we are working towards the same thing. So generally, let me force this. Let me, let me force the Vine National Park for you. National Park is a place where we preserve and conserve the fauna and flora for unborn generation. So those are the, uh, those are the seven national parks we have in Nigeria. And the old Doyle National Park in the southwest is divided, is subdivided into five ranges. So the first range is in Tede Range. That Tede Range is in Tede Town. Then we have Maguba Range in Shekpeteri. We have Shekpeteri Range in Igboho. We have Oyole Range in Igbeti, Why we have the last range to be the Mosul Range in Ikoyi. Those are the five ranges we have. And this is the type of animal you may likely see when you visit the park. So this is the elephant scroll. We call it Oriemi in Yoruba. And this is the skin of elephants. We call it Awoemi in Yoruba. Likewise, you can see the ostrich egg. This is ostrich egg. This ostrich egg uh, is, equal to, is equivalent to one table egg. One normal table egg. And this one is the, you can see the different type of these uh, traps, we collect this from the poachers. What I mean by poachers is those people that enter the park without our knowledge, without taking permission. They went to the park to destroy the park, whether to cut the trees or to kill the animals. And this is the traps we collect from them. This one we call it stakute with two traps, as in it has two ants. And this one is stakute with one traps. And this is the cutlass, uh, cutlass that we collect from the poachers. They use the cutlass to attack us when they enter the pass. And this is the gun we collect from them too. This gun, we collect it from them. They attack our people when they enter the pass and we attack them too. And when we arrest most of them, we bring them to the head office at Oyo. Then some of them, we prostitute them and some of them, it depends on what they did that make us to know what we are going to do for them. And this one is the skin of Daika. This Daika, it is called a, a suro in Yoruba. And this is the skin of Nile crocodile. And this is the skin of Python. This Python skin. And here you can see the skin of crocodile, uh, uh, giant porcupine. And this is the, gin, uh, the skin of bush buck. This bush buck is called Igala in Yoruba, and you can see this one, this is our, you can see this is our tradition in Oyo. Oyo, Oyo did not start from the Oyo, the reason, that is where we generate our name. Oyo starts from Igbeti side, Igboho, so people, Oyo people migrated from that place to Oyo. This is one of their, the, what the local thing they loved most, they love playing game. This is Ayolokon. It is called Ayolokmo in Yoruba. And this one is called Talking Drum. This Talking Drum is called Iyalu in Yoruba. And this one is Gudu Gudu. So the reason why they call it Gudu Gudu -gu is that they put it on their neck. So you will see Yoruba people, they used to say Gudu Gudu ni mi, mi o figba That is what they mean by that. And this is the skull of bush buck. You can see, you can use this skull to determine their head. It's how of rings they form every year. That is how we determine their age. So 
that is what about that is what I knew about the national park. Once again, you are welcome. So I want to add this to what I've said. I want to tell that instead of people visiting abroad national park, South Africa national park, people should just visit the Odo or any national park. Any seven national park is very avoidable. When you want to visit the park, you come to the head office. When you get to the head office, you went to our uh, ecotourism unit. So you make inquiry and we have Pi Guardian to guide you to the parks. So those are the way you can visit the park. That's the best way to visit the park. So instead of wasting your money to go to South Africa, to go to uh, USA to check their parks, you can visit Nigeria parks too, and it's affordable. So when you say affordable, what's the affordable rate? So you know, As in, you want to get a yes, so we have Charlet there, then we have student hostel. So when you want to sleep in Charlet, you pay just a token amount like two, five, three thousand naira. But when you want to, when you want to stay in student hostel, you pay like uh, the native will pay 300 and the outsider will pay like 700 naira. It's very affordable. So you are welcome. Thank you very much.